Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to be creating some watercolor brushes in Illustrator. So a few weeks ago, I showed you my process for creating a watercolor brush in Photoshop. And then last week, we created some ribbon brushes in Illustrator. So we're gonna kind of combine both of them. And even if you're new to Illustrator, this tutorial, if you followed along last week, this one will be a perfect follow-up tutorial. So I would highly encourage you to give this one a try plus they come out really cool and they're so fun to use so first things first these textures are from some of my different watercolor texture kits I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description if you'd like to check them out they're all high-res textures they're all cut out from their background so it'll save you a ton of time if this is something you're interested in doing if you'd like to use your own watercolor textures I have an entire class that goes over my process for removing the background so I'll leave a link to that on screen and in the video description as well and finally, if you'd like to save these out and use them at a later time, I'll link to a video on how to save your brushes so you can use them in any document in the future that you'd like. I'll leave a link to that video on screen and in the video description as well. Okay, all that's out of the way. Now let's have some fun. So I've already created these ones, so I wanna show you how they work. So I've got these four textures and all I have to do is come over to my brushes palette and select the brush that I want and then hit B on my keyboard for my brush tool and then I can draw with my watercolor. How cool is that? So fun. Um, and you can draw all kinds of different things. Depending on the size of your watercolor texture when you bring it in, um, will determine how big it appears. So if I wanted these to be smaller, all I have to do is come over here to my stroke palette, which you can get to by going window stroke, and you can scale down the weight. So if I do a half a point instead of a full point, you can see these get a lot skinnier. So it all depends on what you prefer. Um, just remember the bigger this texture is before you make your brush, that'll determine how big it ends up being when you start using it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm gonna show you these other ones and then I'll show you exactly how I made them. So here's the pink one, kind of pretty and fun. Um, let's bump this one up so you can see this one nice and big too. So that's pretty cool. You can make some really cool dividers with it or even draw some fun illustrations with it if you wanted to do like a flower or something. Um, super fun. All right, the purple one, let's grab that one. This one was brought in kind of large too, so you can see this one's a much softer texture, so you can kind of see this really pretty gradient that happens when you stretch it out in a brush form. And then finally this green one down here, I'll draw this one out, um, really soft and beautiful. This one was probably brought in the largest, so that's why it's looking gigantic right there. Um, but once again, all you have to do is select it and reduce the size of the stroke right here, and then it'll reduce the appearance of it right there. So these are really cool. So I'm gonna show you how I made them, and I'm gonna grab some different textures so I can stay in the same document here. So all you have to do is bring in a watercolor texture that's on a transparent background. That could be a PSD file that has a transparent background, or it can be a transparent PNG, which these are, it just makes for a bit of a smaller file size, which is much easier to work with. But that's the important thing. Your texture has to start out having a transparent background, which all of my watercolor texture kits have those. So they're all set to go. So I'm gonna go File, Place, and I'm gonna choose some textures. So I'm gonna start out with my volume number three texture kit and I'm gonna grab my transparent textures. Let's see, let's find a cool one. Um, that one looks pretty cool. Let's use, I think this one looks pretty cool. Let's try this one out and see what it looks like. So we'll hit place. So this one was number 15 in that texture kit and I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit and we know already that the smaller it starts at, the smaller it will begin at when we're using it, so I wanna reduce this down quite a bit. So when you have the size that you like, the next thing we need to do is rasterize it. So you're gonna come over here and go Object, Rasterize, and when this pops up, the most important thing to make sure of is that Transparent is selected right here for your background. So make sure that's like that and then hit OK. And then you can come over here to your brushes palette. It's gotta be selected still, so make sure that's selected. And then click this little icon down here for a new brush. And then when this pops up, choose Art Brush, hit OK. Make sure you have Stretch to Fit Stroke Length right here. You can name this. I'll do purple, purpley pink. 
Um, and then down here where it has the overlap, make sure this icon is selected and not this one. Otherwise, it'll look funky when it overlaps on top of it on top of itself. So make sure this is selected. I like having my um, direction go from left to right just because that's kind of how I draw. So make sure that's selected too if you'd like to do that as well. And then just hit OK. And now we've got the brush added over here in our brushes. So now I can deselect it. I can hit B on my keyboard for brush. Make sure your new brush is selected in your brushes palette. And then you can just draw with it right away. So it looks really freaking cool. Um, so yeah, really fun. <laughs> I could just sit here and do this for forever. It's so fun. All right, so we'll do a softer one just to show you the comparison, but that's all it is. It's a super easy process and you get some really eye-catching results out of it, which is always nice. So we'll go File, Place. We'll select a texture from Watercolor Texture Kit Volume 2. These ones have softer textures overall. So I'm gonna come over here, Transparent PNGs, and let's grab a softer texture. Let's grab, um, so let's grab the soft 05 texture and we're just gonna place it in. We're gonna scale it down. So I'm just holding shift and I'm holding alt at the same time and that'll scale it proportionally all at once, all the sides. Um, so I'm gonna get this kind of tiny right here and then I'm gonna go object once again, rasterize Make sure transparent is selected for the background. Hit OK. Then hit the little new brush icon in your brushes palette. Choose Art Brush. Hit OK. Come over here. Make sure it says Stretch to Fit Stroke Length. I'm going to do Orange Soft. And make sure the Overlap icon is still selected and hit OK. And now we can hit B on our keyboard. Make sure our new brush is selected over here. And now you can start drawing with it. And you can see this one's already smaller than the last one because um, we started out much smaller. So if I wanted these to be larger, I could just select them, go to my stroke palette and up the size of the stroke. And then you can see the results are looking pretty cool. If you go too far, they start becoming a little geometric. So just a heads up on that. Um, the closer you are to the original size, the smoother your edges are gonna be. So looks pretty cool. So that is how to create a watercolor texture brush in Illustrator, super easy. The most important things to make sure are that you're using watercolor textures that have their backgrounds removed. And once again, I have a course that shows you exactly how I remove the backgrounds off my textures, and I'll leave a link in the video description to that, as well as a link to all three of my watercolor texture kits if you'd like to have a peek at those. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my blog every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week.